What's up, everybody? This is Tadpole Superhero, and today we're playing Splatoon. Now, this is not the normal outfit I run around in. This is actually, I think, the starter outfit. I actually changed back to that because I wanted to, yeah, look super vanilla before I show off like all the stuff I found. You can see in the top right hand corner, I'm level 18 out of 20. You can get up to level 20 in the multiplayer. First, we're gonna take a quick little tour around this place we call Inkopolis. You can see these little messages popping up. These are Inklings, is what your main character is called. And those are Meaver's posts by different people. So Coco drew a really impressive drawing. Dad. <laughs> Dad. Dad. I didn't know you had a Wii U, Dad. I didn't know you could draw either. I don't know anything anymore. All right, anyway, so you see lots of Meaver's post and stuff like that, but this is Inkopolis, this is basically the hub world from which you can travel to all the different destinations in the game. Uh, the way you look around, camera control is a combination of the right analog stick and motion controls, which um, you can actually, I think somewhere, oh, well, we're in the, uh, we're in this. Where's the options menu? I thought you could turn motion controls on and off. Maybe it's somewhere else, I don't know. Anyway, I always keep them on. I've actually really enjoyed them. So anyway, this tour of Inkopolis will start by over here. There's actually really nothing in the back section of Inkopolis, except if you have the Amiibo, which I do not have the Amiibo yet. I uh, actually, when I went to the get, get the game, they have, they had, there are three uh, Splatoon Amiibo. You can get them in a package of three, uh, all three of them together, which is what I wanted to get. And they only had, you know, individual ones of two different Amiibo, so I kind of want to wait and see if they get in stock of the three pack, which knowing Amiibo <laughs> They might never but I'll, I'll hedge my bets I, You know, it's it's not a make or break thing for me if I get the Amiibo It's just if I get them I want to get all three This is an arcade machine you can use it to play some cool little retro -y games, which I might show off at some point So you have a shirt shop, you have a hat shop, which also includes other headwear like headbands, headphones, uh, visors, goggles, stuff like that, and then the weapon store. So those are our four shops. Let's go in and meet the shop owners because they're really cool. Really cool. I, I love just the style of this game is so fun and interesting. So let's see that. Krusty Sean, check him out. He's a shrimp and he has, he, he's wearing a lot of shoes. Wow. What up, Squiddo? Okay, so you didn't say a lot. Okay, don't trip, Squiddo. You already got those kicks. Yeah, so most, so I, I apparently have bought most of what there is because even though they, they rotate their merchandise every day, so they bring in new merch every real, real-time day, uh, but they didn't rotate out all the stuff I own, so I guess <laughs> I'm getting close to owning everything. Um, what you can do is you can scroll through the different, so there's only six options in each shop every day, except the weapon shop is an exception. Uh, you can try them on by clicking in the right stick so you can see how everything looks on you. Which I, I love all the different boots. Ugh. Boots are my favorite in this game. I don't know why. I totally, I've become addicted to the whole fashion and styling my Amiibo. Not Amiibo, my Inkling. My Inkling. Those are sweet shoes. I don't own them. We're buying them. So then you can choose to buy them and you can equip them in the shop. Or you can say, nah dude. I don't want them yet. Uh, so that's what's going on. Then, so you can enter the shops from the outside, but if you look at the top, left and right corners, L and R will switch shops. So we're at R, we'll go from the shoe shop to the shirt shop. And this cool dude, what's he gonna say? Jalonzo, already owning, you are already owning that body cloth. He talks really funny like that. Um, oh, that is sweet. I love the ski jackets, dude. I love them. You can get a, you can get a basketball jersey, uh, sweatshirts, polo shirts. Tropical button-up shirts, regular t-shirts. You can get a ton of different types of shirts and jackets and vests and stuff. It's really cool. So I already have the olive ski jacket. Uh, what you can also see is there are skills on the jacket. So if we had X, you can scroll through and it sees every single item of clothing starts with one skill. So you can see like co cold-blooded. What does that even do? Shortens the effect of attacks. Okay. Uh, this one starts with ink recovery up. But then they also have a bunch of question marks which you unlock by gaining experience through winning 
in ranked battles or just playing Turf War, which is the regular multiplayer mode. So you can unlock ra the randomized skills, but because you can get so many different types of clothes, clothes and outfits and stuff, you can you're gonna find something that gives you the skills that you really want. And one thing you'll learn about the skills is that uh, <laughs> they have a very minimal effect. They're kind of like very, very low impact passive abilities if you play any other like MMORPGs or League of Legends or anything like that they're like passive abilities so like special saver reduces your special gauge decrease after you get splatted special duration up lets you use your special weapons longer stuff like that um, but like I think there's one with ink saver there's an ability ink saver which you s use less ink in your main weapon but it's a very small impact it's maybe like maybe like five percent at the most anyway let's jump over to the hat shop we've got this who are you annie is she's a sea anemone is it, did i even say that right anemone i think i did sweet and she's got she's got nemo floating around in her hair see the little clownfish and it's mo you're wasting our time there's people in this game have so much personality so anyway you can get like beanie caps bobble hats Baseball caps. You can get what the heck? Fake contacts. I I don't notice anything different. Do you guys notice anything different? Cause I am not seeing it. <laughs> what the heck? I'm so confused. Okay. Anyway, you can get fake contact lenses that don't do anything. You can get a gas mask. Are you my mommy? Anybody watch Doctor Who? <laughs> that looks cool. I don't actually have the gas mask yet. That's pretty expensive. As you can see, uh, different items cost more if they have more ability slots. So this has the maximum three random slots. Uh, so it costs 11000 Whereas over here, you got a short little beanie. And it only has one ability, so it doesn't cost very much. Let's jump to the weapon store with my favorite guy. What's his name? Sheldon. He's so cool. I'm afraid you're lacking in the funds department. He can't part with his babies. He really loves his weapons. But anyway, you can scroll through all the weapons. So I have most of the weapons you can get. Uh, now, you unlock a new weapon every time you level up in multiplayer. You also... Okay, so those are all the ones I have. But you also unlock blueprints through playing single player. That'll give you even more weapons. And the uh, amiibo challenges also give you, I think, a weapon for each amiibo. Don't quote me on that because I don't actually know. So anyway, I have five weapons left. But I haven't unlocked all the ones from single player, so there's still more than that. But so unlock to level 19, unlock to level 20. I'm level 18. So I still have these three because I'm not really interested in these two, and I don't have enough for this one. Um, so I'm sort of like, eh, I can just buy them whenever. Is basically what's going on. So anyway, those are all the shops. This is basically our little Inkopolis tour. Uh, whenever you leave areas, it just drops you right back in the middle of the area. Which is kind of a bummer. Jared says, awesome game. You are correct, sir. This game is fantastic. I love it. So anyway, you can add up to this upper deck. And you have the one-on-one. -on -one. This is where the battle dojo is. Where you can do one-on-one -on -one local multiplayer. I'm not going to show that off because I, I don't have any friends here who can play with me. So I'm not going to do that. It's too bad. OMG, NES Zapper. Yes, the NES Zapper is a weapon in this game. Check this out. It was actually the first new weapon added through free DLC. But anyway, NES Zapper. It is a re it's a really good, too. It's a very good weapon. Anyway, we're going to go through my gear eventually because I'm going to show off what I have. But, oh, I just ruined everything. Anyway, up there is the new studio. You have these two inkling ladies, Callie and I forget what the other girl's name is. But they do little news reports uh, every, every four hours. Or every time you boot up the game and they show you like what are what are what are the multiplayer stages active right now. So anyway, and then this giant tower, the Eiffel Inkling Tower. Oh my gosh, you can actually see little squids, little little people up there. I never noticed that. Cool. Alright, so anyway, that is where you go for multiplayer. And if you run up here, you'll actually hear these uh, speakers are playing music and you see them, you can see them like bouncing from the playing the music it's not really that interesting music you can talk to Judd the cat who is the judge haha <laughs> funny funny name he's Judd the judge uh, and he can give you advice so let's see what he has to say right now it's true that hiding in your own ink makes you hard to see but if you swim around your foes may notice the ink ripples you make 
So yeah, you can swim around your own ink. Basically, it's saying if you swim fast, then people will still be able to see you. But if you swim slow, <gasps> did you guys see that? But anyway, if you swim slow, then they won't see you. So anyway, this is where we're going to be going. We're going to hide the reticle. There's this crazy old dude. He looks like he's... Oh, man, he looks like he's seen some stuff. So anyway, we're going to go see what that's all about. Because today, we're going to... You had your Inkopolis tour, and now we're going to play some of the single-player... And then next time we'll be playing multiplayer. But anyway, this is Octo Valley, the central hub of the multiplayer. And as you can see, I have this sweet new outfit. Uh, it's all glowing and it's like I'm from Tron or something. But anyway, this is the, you are a secret agent uh, fighting against the octopi, the octarians. So it's squids versus octopi, inklings versus octarians. You can see it, that is one creepy looking octopus. Um, in one of these levels. So I've already actually completed the first world. Basically you have three stages and then a boss battle. But we're gonna go and I'm actually gonna show you those again today. And then next time we do a single player, I'm actually gonna do some levels for the first time. I haven't beaten all of single player because I wanted to save some of the levels and some of the surprise for you guys. So let's go talk to Captain Cuttlefish. <laughs> I was just resting my brain. Use your control pad to switch between the bomb types. So in single player, you can actually have multi multiple bomb types that you can use. Um, and also, you have completely separate gear uh, from your outfit to your weapon. You always have a splatter shot, which is this um, sort of machine gun weapon. And so as you can see, you can spray. Basically, the point of this game is you, your weapons shoot ink and spread ink. And they splatter across the ground. And then you can tune... You can, oh, what did I just say? You can turn into a squid. And you can swim through your ink, and you move super fast in your own ink. You move extremely slow, and can't you can't swim through enemy ink, and you walk extremely slow inside enemy ink. Also, uh, I think you actually run faster in your own ink, too. No, it looks about the same. It's just swimming. Swimming, you move really fast, and then if you're not in your ink, you're really, really sad and slow. You can't, you can... You can jump, so you can actually use the ink to jump around, and yeah, I'll show you guys. And so here, instead of buying gear, you buy, you unlock, uh, you can unlock different bombs and, and weapon types. You can increase the capacity of your ink tank, ink tank, ink tank, which I've upgraded twice or three times. So the, the capacity is up by twenty or up by, uh, it's doubled, it's doubled. Anyway, and then my rate of fire is increased by 20%, so that's cool. So let's go into the first level, and uh, I, don't even, I don't even remember these levels because I've played so much multiplayer. <laughs> I don't really remember. Okay, so anyway, here we are, very first level. Octo Trooper Hideout, catch that. So the whole point of single player, the plot of single player is that this Zapfish has been stolen from Inkopolis, and it's the source of electricity for Inkopolis. Oh, I got hit. I got hit. I got shot. And so the whole point of this campaign, this single player mode, is to find uh, the great zap fish. But you also find not so great zap fishes along the way. And they're, they're at the end of every single stage. So, Oh, so this guy, we need to actually hide in the ink. He's got a shield. And then we can pop up and shoot him. Which I failed. Because I'm not good at video games. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see, they have purple ink on here, and if I go into it as a squid, I can't I can't turn into a squid. My screen gets all funny, and I can't move very fast. Uh, but if you spray over enemy ink, then it covers it up and turns it into your color. So this is a very Mario Galaxy-ish feel to it. Uh, in terms of, you know, you have these separate areas. If you've played Mario Galaxy, you know what I'm talking about. But you have these separate areas that you jump to. Uh... So the levels seem bigger than they actually are, but they still are pretty, pretty big and pretty cool. Distract who with a bomb? Oh, these guys. So these guys, you can't actually hide from them. You want to throw a bomb up, and then you can hide from them, and then you can shoot them. So they have a shield as well. So that's, that's how you stop them. Oh my goodness, we're jumping all over the place. Okay, so now we've got a variety of enemies. We've got a shield, and then we've got a regular dude. And you also see there's like this, this big old gap. How are we going to get over there? Well, we 
can jump over. Sweet. What's going on? Oh. Oh, yeah. Because I just go back to this thing. Then we jump over the billboard. Cool. So, yeah. Uh, one, one of the things you'll learn as you play this game is that it helps to kind of combine shooting and swimming uh, in quick little bursts so you like shoot and then duck down and then shoot some more and duck down kind of thing also what you'll find so if you see the little tank on my back as I'm shooting it starts to deplete it gets less green as I shoot then if I duck down into my own ink that is how you refill is by turning into a squid and ducking into your own ink which I have my tank capacity increased by so much that, that it's like I don't really have to refill hardly ever, but it's still useful. Uh, so now I got a little pickup. It's an armor, so I have like this cool like vest and a helmet and stuff. I got a bike helmet. That is that is true true defense against against bullets and danger. And I'm surprised SWAT teams don't use bike helmets. That would make so much sense, right? No, it would not make sense. That would actually be terrible. But against paint, bike helmets are the most sensible option, of course. So we wanted to get a key. There was a vault back there, if you're paying attention, because I totally am not. No, I'm paying attention. Um, so there's a vault, and we had to get a key to open it. And that unlocks our little portal to the next area. So I, I really like the single player. I mean, the multiplayer is the true draw, but there is a lot in the single player. And it's a lot of fun, too. I am really, really have been enjoying it. As you can tell, I've been playing a lot because I'm a lot better at this game than when I started. I have I've definitely learned the ways of of Splatoon. Did I even tell you guys what game we're playing? I don't know. I hope I did. Okay, so then we have those guys. The guy on top of there, he fires rapid fire. I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of the enemies have been firing just a really slow single glob. So here's our little zapfish. Check him out. He's got like a cool little beret. It looks like he's stitched together. Um, that's because we already got the real Zapfish, so this is... But I actually think these guys are cuter, because they're like a, a doll. They remind me of Yoshi's Woolly World, which I think comes out really soon, like in September, I think? But they remind me of that game. It's really cool. So anyway, uh, I think that'll actually do it for today, but we're going to continue next time with the uh, probably the boss of this level. Let's just skip to the boss <laughs> and then uh and then we'll play some multiplayer so and then after after some multiplayer then we'll do basically here's the plan for my let's play this i'm not going to let's play the entire game because i am going to do a review once i've played enough of it which is going to be a lot of fun <laughs> and so what i'm going to do is i'm played the very first level we're going to fight the very first boss then we're going to play through another world a section of levels and boss in a boss fight that i haven't done before yet but not the final boss and then we're also going to do probably two episodes of multiplayer. And then the rest, yeah, I mean, you'll find out in the review. It's cool stuff. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Agent 3, is what you're called in Splatoon. Um, <laughs> what you're called in the single-player campaign is Agent 3. So this has been Agent 3 signing out. No, this has been Tadpole Superhero. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time on Splatoon.